Hello, friends. I'm Pastor Pitts Evans. Welcome to the Whole Word Podcast. Let's get right to the Word of God. Chapter 26 of Exodus deals primarily with the series of curtains and the frames for the curtains that comprise the tabernacle, the plans for the tabernacle. And so as we read through chapter 26, we see a lot of repetition concerning these curtains. They're all made out of the same materials. They're all the same lengths. They're all framed the same way with the same uh, hasp or clasps, the same loops and so forth. So it's uh, just the organization of these curtains. But reading from chapter 26, verse 1, I'm not going to read the entire chapter. I want to read a few verses. Verse 1, make the tabernacle with 10 curtains of finely twisted linen and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn with cherubim woven into them by a skilled worker. All of the curtains are to be the same size, 28 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. Join five of the curtains together and do the same with the other five. Make loops of blue material along the edge of the end curtain in one set and do the same with the end curtain in the other. Make 50 loops on one curtain and 50 loops on the end curtain of the other set with loops opposite the other, etc., etc. And so this is repeated for the various angles and the subsets, the subdivision rooms within the tabernacle. These instructions are repeated, and uh, more on that later. This will be the first chapter. I'm not reading the chapter in its entirety. But the veil of the temple is first mentioned in this chapter. I want to read those verses as well, starting in verse 31. Make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen with cherubim woven into them by a skilled worker. Hang it with gold hooks on four posts of acacia wood overlaid with gold and standing on four silver bases. Hang the curtain from the clasp and place the Ark of the Covenant Behind the curtain, the curtain will separate the holy place from the most holy place. Now, friends, that's the first mention of the holy place and the most holy or holy of holy places. So these divisions are created by these curtains. I already said the the curtains are alike. They're identical as you go along. But each curtain features blue yarn, purple yarn, and scarlet yarn. Blue representing the sky, purple representing the majesty of God, scarlet representing blood, and then the finely twisted linen representing righteousness and the righteous acts of God's people. And then also cherubim. Cherubs are individual angelic beings. Cherubim is a plural word. Im on a Hebrew word is plural. So cherubim, cherubs are woven into the curtains. There's a representation of these angelic beings. And um, a curtain separates the holy place from the holy of holies. And another similar curtain uh, separates the outside of the holy place from the exterior of the tabernacle. There's some verses about the placement of the furniture. Verse 34, put the atonement cover on the Ark of the Covenant Law in the most holy place. Place the table outside the curtain on the north side of the tabernacle and put the lampstand opposite it on the south side. For the entrance to the tent, make a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer. Make gold hooks for this curtain and five posts of a case of uh, wood, etc., etc., etc. And so this, the details, the very exacting details, 37 verses for the curtains that comprise the, the tabernacle itself, and then first mention of where to place the furniture after it's, it's made. And so we'll come back to that in future chapters. Now, I'm going to wrap that up today. This is a very short chapter, but I think it's better from a listening perspective to keep it short. Feel free to read that chapter in its entirety on your own. It's 37 verses. Obviously, it's in Scripture. It's very important. I don't want to minimize it, but it's a little redundant to listen to audibly. And uh, I'll just commend that to you to do on your own. Father, we close this chapter with no disrespect intended. Lord, um, you gave Moses very careful details, and we acknowledge them. But uh, Lord, I've elected not to read them out loud in this context. And so, God, we don't want to diminish the fact that you said, let everything be made just as it was shown to Moses on the mountain. And so the details are important, but uh, we're not going to read them today. Bless the hearers anyway. In Jesus' name, amen.
Thank you for listening to this episode of The Whole Word. It was brought to you by Whole Word Fellowship and the Northern Virginia House of Prayer. If you were encouraged, please share our podcast with your friends. We'd also appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe in your favorite podcast app and take a few moments to write a review. If you'd like more information on our church and our ministry, you can go to wholeword.net or wholewordpodcast.com for more information. Thank you again, and may the Lord Jesus bless you today and always.